What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. I got honey sauce with me. So we're about to get into um, Brooklyn Frost's mom speaks on Jay Cinco Pan to date her daughter rumor. Let's get it. In my previous video, Just Hilarious wasn't happy with Brooklyn Frost's prank on Justin. Well, here's what Brooklyn Frost's mom that. had to say. Older head celebrities on your daughter head. Just Hilarious posted in comments. Yeah, I saw that. She, she just posted a she posted a clip from a video that a prank that she did with Justin. Um, 24 hours being disrespectful to Justin, which is crazy because that part of the video he told her to say that part because she didn't know how to end the video. She was like, "How do we end this?" and he. He told her to say that. Brooklyn's mom also addressed the $5,000 Justin said he paid her every month. I own a management company. Um, we've been working on our brand for like years. Me, Brooklyn, Deshay. More so Deshay. Deshay's been working on the whole brand for years. Single comes around, you know, him and Brooklyn like start dating. There was discussions about like him getting into YouTube, you know, because I guess she didn't like, or she didn't, you, she wanted him to make his money a different type of way. So she's like, my mom owns a management company, mom. You want to manage Cinco? So I was like, yeah, I will. And I said, you know, we can show you how to do it. I put together a contract because first of all, it's like, just like anything, just any client, any client that anyone ever goes to for a management company, they're going to sign a contract with a person. Did he come to you as a management company or did he come to you because uh, he was dating your daughter and you said that you wanted him to stop doing what he was doing? That's what I want to know. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. percentage whether it's like five percent ten percent fifteen percent twenty percent regardless of what it is they're gonna have to sign something saying hey i'm gonna do these things for you and in return this is what you do for me so at that time he wasn't making any money on youtube we ended up signing a contract 20 percent um as far as the five thousand dollars he was fine with that he's 19 years old at this time so he looks over the contract. I gave it to him like ahead of time. He signs it, gives it back to me. And mind you, five five thousand dollars is a lot. I don't even think he's ever paid me five thousand. Maybe one time, but if he did, he made twenty five thousand dollars that month. I think his, you know, so if he made nine thousand dollars, he paid me one thousand, you know, or something like that. Whatever twenty percent of that is, he that's what he paid me. So it was like five thousand dollars a month. You know, people are thinking, oh, he's paying $5,000 a month and he has to take care of his family. If he's paying $5,000, he's making 25000 So, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, the last part of the contract, $6,000, he owed me. I just said, don't worry about it, you know, because I don't want to go back and forth about money. So I was just like, all right, just don't worry. It was already starting as money, so. worry about the $6,000. Like, it was already about money. And I think what happened was him and Brooklyn broke up and he didn't want to pay. I think he didn't want to pay because they broke up. That shit looked dry as hell. Wondering why I was taking Yeah, and then she got crab legs in a box, no juice. No, they order in and not mama drinking a Capri Sun. <laughs> Kai's first court appearance is scheduled for today. I would definitely keep y'all up to date. Valerie Castro joins us now in studio. So Valerie, as you reported, Kai Sanat is facing charges. Not is Kai there Sanat. any chance he could see jail time? So we spoke to our legal analyst, Danny Savalos, and he says because this came in the form of a desk appearance ticket, it is unlikely that he would face any jail time. Good. Okay. Damn, it started off dry. So... <laughs> Uh, I don't know why it took forever. Got some nice seats. Okay, guys, so you guys been asking like a lot of questions. Ah, it looked dry on this. I said it got some nice seasoning. I know where you see the seasoning in that. You don't see that right there? All that big red glob right there. That ain't seasoning. That's like a burnt ass piece of bread. No, it ain't. Okay. Just <laughs> check it out. Not bread. It looked like burnt bread. It don't. And I'm going to answer them. <laughs> food Let's get for everyone. Um, no, but sometimes I cook like just a, so busy. Um, I got to go visit Mel Mel. I get him. But for the most part, it's a business. Um, so single comes around, you know, him in Brooklyn, like start. Okay. No, that's like the weirdest. Did Jay Cinco really had had to pay to date your daughter? No. That's like the weirdest thing that I've been seeing online. And I 
one of the questions I chose to answer because it's just like first and foremost I own a management company um we've been working on our brand for like years me Brooklyn Deshay more so Deshay Deshay's been working on the whole brand for years so as Brooklyn not broke that's good as far as like doing his videos and stuff like that um it's one of those things like we built just like any youtuber anybody that builds anything it's it's their baby it's something they built from that i've always managed my kids i've started a management company um when deshay was just getting into the industry so i feel like oh damn she managed the kids too which means she been getting a check from deshay mama gotta eat too you agree oh well sure okay i have your best interest i'm gonna like lead you in the right direction Washington, Until I like feel there's a better, a bigger no opportunity for you. Like <laughs> but for the most part, I, this whole time I thought that was a potato. I'm girl, thinking she's she peeling the potato. Picking, picking, picking the egg. And then Why? at first, not we into the food. At first, I thought this was a croissant sandwich. It did, but it didn't look like it. It did but until we learned that it, it's a lobster. Right. <laughs> it's like this: the egg out here just hanging low. Ah. <sighs> Them look like some dry ass noodles. I don't, I don't know if that's know what potato that is, salad. Or cheese. I don't know like, what the fuck I'm going like, on. Why is she picking? Because she don't want that shit. It's nasty as hell. Okay. It's a business. Um. So, single comes around. You know, him and Brooklyn like start dating. Get a management company. Mom, be company. They're going to sign a contract with a per certain percentage, whether it's like. 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%. Regardless of what it is, they're going to have to sign something saying, hey, I'm going to do... I will say she did not lie about it. This this is reasonable. It's not like... She knew the amount of money he was about to make. Right. But him making it seem like the mom um, was doing it to basically fund her and the daughter it was a bit much. I think she just wanted him to be on some like... You take care of the household shit. So, like, you need to pay the rent. You need to pay the bills. I don't know. That's what I'm getting from it. Because it ain't seem like Brooklyn was working enough. You don't know none of these folks. I know, I know but what, what I don't know is about Brooklyn. So, you know, you see everybody else pretty much doing stuff. And then it, when you do see Brooklyn, she's chilling. But they was doing videos <laughs> back and forth. So like he, he he got a part one, she got a part, you know, part but two. This is the boyfriend, to the same thing. boyfriend, right? Yes, okay. Jay Cinco, ex boyfriend, ex boyfriend. Now, sorry. Yeah, so he was doing his thing, and then boom, she'd come out with a video, do her thing. Well, that makes sense. But see, she came to her mom and said, "Hey, mom, can you give him a job?" Basically. Well, so he already had money before he got with her. But I, I think it was either trapping, rapping, something that... That was his choice. That she, but something she felt uncomfortable with. Like, if you're going to be dating my daughter, you can't do that. I don't know if she's going to address that, but that's what he said. I feel like you shouldn't have put your foot up in that. Because if he was doing what he needed to do, then technically he was going to take care of your daughter regardless of what job he had. It's just like, are you trying to keep an eye on his money? Like... Mm. to know where it's going because then if he was out there doing pharmaceutical stuff uh she would have been able to know hey he's taking care of my daughter and then blah 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 blah, blah. or but, maybe he was talking too much or maybe the daughter was talking too much right letting the mama know what was going on right um, mm. oh, no. these things for you and in return this is what you do for me so at that time he wasn't making any money on youtube um we ended up signing a contract 20%. She don't address that he was making money doing something. Um, as far as the $5,000, he, he was fine with that. He's 19 years old at this time. So he, but we've seen I have $5,000, you know, so if he made $9,000, he paid me 1,000, you know, or something like that. Whatever 20% of that is, he, that's what he paid me. So it was like $5,000 a month. You know, people are thinking, oh, he's paying $5,000 a month and he has to take care of his family. If he's paying $5,000, he's making 25000 So, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, the last 
part of the contract, $6,000 he owed me. I just said, don't worry about it, you know, because I don't want to go back and forth about money. So I was just like, all right, just don't worry about the $6,000. And I think what happened was him and Brooklyn broke up and he didn't want to pay. I think he didn't want to pay because they broke Dry up. Shit. So I don't know. I don't care, you know. Um, as far as if I got him deals, absolutely. I know that was a question somebody asked me if I if I got any opportunities for him. I got him oh, one. Right, he did say she didn't get any brand deal. Deal through Fashion Nova. I don't know what happened with that deal, but it was a it was a substantial amount of money. Um, I pitched him. I pitched Deshay and I pitched Cinco. Deshay didn't get it. They wanted to work with Cinco. Pitched it to Cinco. Sent him the email. Sent him the contract. And he had to go online and sign it through Fashion Nova. I don't know. I don't ever know. Why would they not want to work with Deshay? He had more numbers. Or they probably wanted somebody taller in their clothes. You know, they, whew, in the modeling industry, they like what they like. Mm. And um, unfortunately, the darker complexion people don't really get too much love. You know? Oh, right. You, you know right. Because Jay Cinco's with light skin as hell. Yeah. And and not only that, it'd be what they want, what they're looking for for their campaign. You might not be the look that they're going for. Yeah. They might want an edgy type of look and the shade is really polished. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Whatever it is, but that's just in the model world. They choose what they ch who they choose because of their campaign. You might not be the fit for their look, their brand. Right. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah, it does. It happened. He was supposed to sign up through the portal and start, like, picking clothes and stuff. But he never, I don't know if he never did. I asked him. I said, how did that go? He just said they never. I don't know what happened. I think maybe, I'm thinking, because, like, right after that, um, he cut his hair. So I don't know if that was why that deal didn't completely go through. But it was literally on the table. We had the contract and everything. Um. I actually have the contract right here. Damn, I got this the This was like, I made this like, um, I do this for all my clients. So I make this like one sheet. So it's easy to pitch them to for stuff. And then the one sheet sound way better than the six we was putting together. <laughs> it wasn't six, it was one. Was okay. it? Yes. Our good friend made us do one. She just showed uh, us a different type of um, spreads that we could have done. So it could have been six pages. Right. If you had all those, you know, brands that you've been doing and numbers and you might want to put a little story on there, you might, oh. But yeah, it don't have to be six pages. Okay, that's all I need. For real. It says, hi Monique, thank you for getting Jay to confirm his account for us. At this time, we can offer the following. And it says the amount dedicated for YouTube and three TikToks and the total payout. But. But, like, this is a whole email. You know, um. <laughs> anyway. I can't it's just stuff like that. I don't know. I keep them damn noodles dry shit. <laughs> Usually I would ignore stuff like I that. I think those are che like cheese noodles. <laughs> that, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just like. You know, I still have. Everyone has their name to protect to a certain degree, but it's just like. It's a business. Everyone has their name to protect, but it's just like, okay, I'm not based on your guys it's like like this whole argument it's like don't throw me in there in terms of like doing bad business you know because at the end of the day like whatever we did was like beneficial to one another no one was taking advantage of anyone no one was using anyone like i made sure i had paperwork in place it's like here if you want to do this you can do this for this amount this is what i can do for you you're not making any money from youtube right now but if i want to bring you into our circle of of contacts, our circle of like people that we've met, filmed with, vlogged with, all of that. You know, it's just like kind of like it's like if you go into a, like a. Oh my gosh, she's taking so long to get to the I point. I cannot do it. it. I can't stand it. She is long drawn out, <laughs> Becky. For real. Listen, all she's trying to say is, nigga, we had the contacts, we had everything that could help you to get a lot of money, which it did. You owed me 20% for me doing that. That's it. That's, that's, it, that's all. all. Pay me you got anything to say? What you oh, okay. owe. Go ahead. Pay me what you owe. 
That's it. I'm done with this video. She is taking too long. That motherfucker lobster tail is entirely too dry. Those noodles are pissing me off. And that crab leg between a crab leg and a piece of bread, I don't know it what it is. It's not a piece of bread. It is a crab leg with a whole bunch of Old Bay seasoning on there. It just ain't got no butter. <laughs> right. And the butter <laughs> might be at the bottom. Girl, bye. <laughs>